Namaste dear parents and of course a big namaste to our little doxies who of course we all miss very very much. I do hope you are all staying safe and staying indoors. Now from dots we have decided to bring you a series of Montessori presentations that you can do with your children in the comfort of your home from, with things that are available in your kitchen and in and around your house. Of course, you know that the philosophy at DOTS is to always keep things simple. This presentation is called Treasure Hunt. For this, I have a sheet of paper which I have colored with various colors on one side. You can use newspaper if you are comfortable with recycling, but make sure the colors are visible. Now I have a glass dish which is filled with moon beans. You can of course use rice, you can use dal, you can use any grain that you have in your kitchen. And we're going to place the glass dish over the paper with color. I also have a little tray which has objects that are matching the colors which we have colored as well. The next thing you need is a paintbrush. Now I'm using a paintbrush. You can use a spoon, you can use a stick, you can even use your makeup brush. You can use anything the child is comfortable with. gently sweeping the grains to reveal what color I see underneath. I see red. Let's look for an object which is matching the same color. Is this matching? No. Is this matching? Yes. Shall we dig for some more treasure and find another color? I think we should. Sweep gently. Purple. Let's find an object that matches purple. Is this matching? Yes. So in the same way, we match all the colors with the objects which we have chosen. Now you can also make it more interesting. You can of course just have the colors and have your child move around and the child gets movement as well. So the child moves around and finds the objects with her toys, with the kitchen. You can just give the child free choice. An open-ended play like that always is better for the child. I'd also like to show you how this can be applied for older children as well. Our M2s and M3s who are comfortable with addition, who are comfortable with sight words, they can always use the same presentation in a different way. Let me show you an example. So I have on one side a lot of addition sums, two digit, and of course on the other side I have the answers. Now the answers are what go under the glass bowl. Place the glass bowl like we did before, smoothen out the beans, using your paintbrush again, sweep gently. To reveal a number. This says 19. This says 19. 
let's find which one the answer to which one is 19 11 together with 8 is the same as 19 so we circle the right answer let's find another one For once I can hear the birds outside and not traffic. Can you hear that? Alright, so we sweep 27. Let's see which one says 27. 5 together with 3. Is it same as 27? No. Let's find which one is same as 27. 18 together with 9 is same as, right, 27. So we circle. This way, the same presentation can be used for children of different ages. You can use it just to identify numbers. If you think that the child is at that level, you can use it for addition. You can use it for sight words, where the child has to sweep and read what word is underneath. It's as simple as that. So all you need is a sheet of paper, a glass bowl, some beans, and a paintbrush. And a lot, lot of imagination. Thank you so much. Until the next video, Namaste.